Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do same tree lead code problem and if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like LinkedIn, Amazon, Google, Bloomberg, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook and Uber. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code easy problem and as the name suggests same tree the problem is self explanatory but let's go over it that basically we are given two roots of a binary tree called p and q and we have to write a function to check if they both are same or not. So let's try to understand this with couple of examples that are given over here. Over here here we are given this two trees p and q and in this case we see we can see that both of these are one both of these are two and both of these are three. So we can say that okay they are actually same and we can return true in this case. But for the second example, if we see the P and Q values over here, uh, for 1, 1 is same. So root values are same. Uh, but if we see over here, this is actually 2 and this is actually 2. Despite being the same value, the positioning is not same. Because this is actually the left child of this given uh, P tree and this is actually the right child of this given Q tree. Which means that these two are not same. So in this case, we will return the false. And this is what we have to achieve. So let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem. So solution of this problem is actually quite simple and if we see the approach one we are going to use an iterative approach. In the iterative approach what we are going to do is we are going to iterative over both of these given trees in the same manner and we are going to keep on checking subsequent uh, nodes of every single position. At any given moment if we identify that any single node does not match we can return false immediately and if somehow we can reach out to the end of the tree and uh, iterate over every single nodes we can return true in this case. So let's see that in action uh, so first of all we are at this p for this p and q tree uh, currently we are at this root position so we will check that value and both of them are actually one which means we are good so far now we are going to iterate over on the left side so on the left side this value is actually two and this value is also two so again we are good now again on the left side this value is actually three and this value is also three so again we are good so far now we go back and now uh, for this position number uh, we also have a right subtree or so we will check that right position this is 5 and this also has a right position which is also 5 so so far we are good now again we go back to this root node uh, we still have this right side that we haven't traversed so this node is 4 and this node is also 4 so again we are good and at the end this node is 6 and this node is 6 now we don't have any more nodes to go back to so essentially we have traversed over all the nodes inside wo given both the trees so we can return true in this case and this is the approach we are going to take uh, let's see what would happen in a scenario where trees don't match up so here i have drawn that example as well that over here all of these nodes are same uh, but actually this node and this node these two are not same so because these two are no, not same the moment we iterate over all of these nodes and eventually we would reach to these positions we can return false immediately in this case so this approach would work as expected and if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n why big o of n because we will have to iterate over every single node inside the given tree for both uh, p and q trees and the space complexity would be big go of log Again, that is because this is a binary tree. Well, in the second approach, we are actually going to solve this problem recursively. And the idea is at any given moment we have to identify that whether two given two trees are same or not. The thing we are going to do is we are going to compare their root nodes. If they both are same, we will have to compare their entire left subtrees uh, that where they have to be the same and also we will have to compare their entire right subtrees that as they, are, they also have to be the same. And if that is the case, we can define that tree to be the same. But if we take a look at for the left subtree, again we are going to repeat the same process that even for the left subtree, we are going to compare the root nodes if they both are same then we are going to compare their left subtrees and their right subtrees to be the same so essentially we are doing the same thing repeatedly for different kinds of input and recursion is the best way to approach that uh, and also your interviewer is going to uh, expect you to do this recursively because that would be more efficient way of doing it uh, so let's see that in action so the idea is at any given moment we are going to compare the root node so over here root node is same because root node is same we will have to check that whether the left subtree is same and right subtree is same or not so first we will do the left subtree so now for the left subtree we have these two trees for p and q respectively 
respectively so again we will check the left node so left node is this 2 and this is also 2 so they both are same now we are going to check the left subtree and right subtree again so this both of these are 3 so they are we are good now we will have to check the right subtree so right sub, subtree is also 5 and 5 so again we are good now again so far we have calculated the entire left portion but we haven't calculated the right portion so now we will do that so again for the right subtree this value is 4 and this value is 4 so again they both are equal so we are good so far and then these values are 6 and 6 so again we are good so far now we have iterated over every single node recursively that is the important part and we have found all the values to be the same so because they were same we can return true in this case and everything is good and at any given moment suppose we identify that any single node does not contain the same value as its uh, counterpart then the moment we are comparing these two values we can return false immediately and that would be the solution for this problem if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is also going to be big o of n because we will have to iterate over every single value and the space complexity is going to be big o of log n so the time and space complexity is not different than the iterative approach but recursive approach just is a lot less coding and i will also be showing that in the code so first of all we are going to check that if the given p and q both are null if both are null we will have to return true because essentially they both are same if that is not the case and if any of uh, either p or q is null and the other one is not null then in that case we will have to return false and if both values exist then we will have to compare their values and if both values are not same we can return false immediately if that is not the case we will have to iterate over left and right subtrees of a subsequent p and q trees so now we are going to make our recursive call and that's pretty much it let's try to run this code okay seems like our code is working as expected let's submit this code and our solution runs pretty efficiently it's actually 100% faster but if that is not the case because runtime is 0 millisecond that's why it's showing 100% faster i would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there